a little break to try to relax before going back to the overwhelming job of helping people who are badly hurt. The medical teams are the unknown soldiers of this work. Sometimes they stay up all night like a beehive working and nobody realizes the work that is going on. Since March, thousands of Palestinians have rallied at the border to protest against the Israeli blockade and occupation. In that time, authorities say at least 217 protesters have been killed and more than 20,000 injured by Israeli soldiers. Numbers that rise by the week. At Shifa Hospital, Palestinians with devastating injuries pack the six operating rooms where staff perform back-to-back -back surgeries in shifts that last 20 to 30 hours. Despite shortages in power, water and supplies caused by the Israeli blockade, they manage to provide medical care to their patients, but the strain is showing. The images of the injured patients remain with us and even appear to us in our dreams while we sleep. I'd like to add that in the operating rooms, because of the pressure of all that's going on, many people are blacking out and have to be taken out of the room. Sometimes the work hits a little too close to home. One of our colleagues found her nephew in the operating room. She blacked out. After a while, she came to and went straight back to work, despite the difficult circumstances. The emotional struggle is intense, especially when people worry about their colleagues, like the medic Razan al-Najjar killed in May, and how they too could become targets as they attend to the wounded in the field. But their shared experience means they know how to offer each other the support they need before they get back to work work with no end in sight. Sarah Balter, TRT World.